Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this December 2023 Solstice and Christmas energy update. Uh, my name is Ona. My channel is Art of Awakening. And today I want to share with you my downloads around the December 2023 Solstice, what energies we're dealing with at this time, and suggestions for how we can navigate these December 2023 Solstice energies, also the energies of Christmas, with grace and for highest good. Okay, so when I first tuned in to the idea of December 2023 solstice and asked for these energies to be explained, the first thing I was shown was this an image of, of the white stag. And I was told, this is the heart of the world. So that's H-A-R-T as in deer. And as you know, spirit loves to speak in symbols and analogies, and it is not above puns. So I took this to mean heart in its punniest sense. So keep that in mind as we move forward, that the energies of this December 2023 solstice do deal quite a lot with heart energy as in the heart chakra as well. So in just a moment, we're going to explore the meaning of the white heart or white stag. But before we do, I want to take a little detour into another aspect of this December 2023 solstice. And I promise it will all make sense in the end. So when I asked further, I was told that this winter solstice time is a lunar juncture, meaning a uh, um, connected with the moon, and that we're being invited to work deeply with lunar energies at this time. So I asked, why do you say it's a lunar juncture when the solstice has to do with the sun? It's a solar event. And I was told that at the solstice, the sun is at its nadir or the lowest point. And so the moon dominates the sky at this time. That makes sense, right? And so that this is the time of the year when the power of the moon and what's going on with the moon can be felt especially strongly. Okay, so on a side note, if you're in the southern hemisphere, you may feel these energies a little bit more differently. But no matter where you are, I think it's pretty powerful that right at the solstice this year, we've just passed the first quarter moon. And so the moon is in its really most, its strongest, most vital state. It's waxing, it's in its most powerful quarter as it waxes towards full. And so when we're looking at the solstice window altogether, I said that these energies are going to be directly prevalent for about a week after the actual solstice, which will take us right through Christmas into the full moon on December 27th. Okay, so what I'm called to do with these energy updates, when I'm called to do these, it's uncanny how often relevant information just starts dropping in. And you may have experienced that kind of thing too. If you have, I'd love to hear about it. Just drop that in the comments below. But it's it's sort of like the universe is curating things for you, okay? So shortly after I received this message about this being a lunar juncture, I got a blog update from my friend Deepa Sanadini in my email. And she writes a lot of blogs about the meanings of different archetypes. And guess what this one was all about? It was about the moon. So <laughs> there, there we go, right? And, and so her blog about the moon archetype really felt spot on to me when it came to really delving into the energies of this solstice season right now in December 2023. So I want to share with you a little bit, an excerpt from her blog. I'm going to put the link to the full thing in the description box below if you'd like to read it all. But uh, for now, I'm just going to share this little bit with you. Okay, so she writes, as an archetypal energy, the moon represents our fears, our anxieties, our hopes, and our dreams. The moon shows us insights into the unseen world. It can also reveal to us the traumatic memories of the past that while no longer in existence, continue to play a tug of war battle within us. Okay, so if you find yourself troubled or bothered by old memories, she says it may be a worthwhile exercise to revisit them and release them. Okay, so emotional healing. 
And then she goes on to say, sometimes when we imagine that the future will be like the past and vice versa, we end up experiencing unwarranted emotional anguish even before it actually happens. If traumatic memories are present, this must be dealt with by allowing them to emerge from the subconscious mind into the conscious mind before they're fully released. Sometimes we find old memories resurfacing and we don't realize that we're heavily influenced by them either on a conscious or a subconscious level. Okay, so she's talking about emotional healing and trauma healing here and bringing stuff up, allowing ourselves to become aware of whatever trauma or pain body, right, at this time. And so if you've been feeling kind of stuck or if you feel like you keep going on a cycle and can't bust out of it, this can be a really, really powerful juncture to allow any kind of old emotional trauma or baggage to come up, be seen, be felt, be recognized, and then released, okay? And um, sometimes we can do this on our own. Sometimes it's helpful to work with a, an energy healer or a counselor or somebody like that to assist, but whatever it is, this is a really great time right now, right in this juncture, to do that sort of work, okay? And so finally, Deepa is disclosing that lunar energy often has to do with allowing the universe to take the lead, learning to surrender our need for control and be receptive and wait for the right energies and information to reach us that will help us to make the decisions that will support our higher truth. So we're talking about deep feminine energy and and moving into the the healing of the divine feminine okay when we when we work towards this ability to be receptive so she writes we must learn to release to let go and to surrender we must do our best and then leave the rest to god all right so what does all this have to do with the white stag well here's what i was told when i tuned in the white stag is an animal of the moon, okay? So there's that lunar connection. It's an animal of cycles and harmonies, of illumination and occlusion, of disclosure and concealment, of shifting perceptions. This is a time when people's minds may change, when emotions may run hot or cold, when the mystical may reveal itself. So watch for hidden messages at this time. Okay, so again, we're working with the lunar energies, but it's also about um, kind of tuning in to your truth and breaking through illusion. Okay, and or it also conversely, it can also be a time where we're susceptible to fantasy, illusion, or delusion. Okay, so it's really, really important to to be discerning and to work with our logical mind as well as our emotional body, okay? So the white stag is a really interesting creature because it typically shows up in folklore and stories as an indication that the main character is about to step into the unknown, okay? It's like this guide into the unknown. There are so many stories about a prince or a hero who gets separated from his hunting buddies and finds himself in a wild part of the forest where there are no paths. And that is where he sees the stag, okay? So it's this invitation to adventure. And if he has any sense of adventure at all, he will follow the stag and the stag will lead him deeper and deeper into the forest where the hero typically gets lost, he can't find his way out, and he's forced to go into a series of tests and initiations, okay? It's a magical place fraught with danger, and yet it's only by going through it and being tested that the hero is able to find his true power, okay? So we're all, each of us individually, is being invited to step into this magical place, this place of uh, a kind of stepping into unknown if you think of the fool card and tarot it's it's a lot about that and it's also uh, we're looking at the human collective right now at this point this almost point of the precipice or point of you know the 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 path of no return 
Okay, so that's what this is, the path of no return. Okay, so when we're looking at this at the end of 2023, the appearance of the white stag is a good indication that things are about to become pretty wild and potentially very dark and gnarly, okay? I think we all feel this. I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but it's really, really important to be consciously aware of this and not to run from it, okay? And not to be, you know, it's it can be feel really daunting, right? You know, stepping into the forest and, oh my gosh, we're lost, right? But keep in mind that it's really super important to stay aware that is how you make your way through the wild forest. You've got to keep your wits about you and you have to be really aware of what's happening and, and aware of what's going on around you. Okay. And so here's another thing about it, both the moon and the forest. These are indicating this is a time to go within. Okay. Remember the kingdom of heaven is within and it's when we, as individuals, okay, remember the collective experience is a compilation of all the different individuals. Okay. So the more of us that can actually have the courage and capacity to go within and to work through our own dark night or dark forest, right? of the soul, the the more powerful the light is going to be on the planet to help us to shine through and work through and, and find our way through the, 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 the darkness, okay? And um, so as my friend Deepa suggests, it's a time to revisit our emotional world and our emotional wounds, right? And invite ourselves to deeply heal past and ancestral trauma. So this is a really powerful time also of healing ancestral wounds, wounding, okay? And remember that in every story, the hero is never truly alone, right? Some kind of helper always shows up, right? As long as he stays on his quest for truth. And the stag himself is a helper as well, right? Leading him on to where he needs to go. Okay, so interestingly, the white stag in Western tradition is like a cousin to the unicorn, very much the same energy. It represents purity, and it's also seen as a symbol for Christ, right, or Christ consciousness. So with its great set of antlers, the stag represents a wide open chakra or crown chakra, almost like a set of antennae receiving activations from above. And I really take it to indicate that we are receiving and are going to continue to receive huge amounts of light energy in the year and a couple of years ahead, okay? In fact, this is exactly what is going to trigger this sense of moving into chaos, right? So in a practical sense, what we can expect here in the 3D world is more of what we're already starting to see unfold, okay? The potential is for more war, more financial collapse, all that stuff which is paving the way for a real tower moment that I'm feeling coming up in 2025. But I'm getting ahead of myself, but just know if you're awake enough to have followed this for so long, you are ready for this, okay? This is what we're here for as light workers. So it's nothing to be afraid of. We need to really hold to the light and recognize that whatever happens in this 3D world, okay, is, is just what needs to happen. But what we do have control over is what we do inside and the transmutation that takes place within us. That is the path through the forest. And we need to be really, really, really clear on that. It's the path within that we're following, okay? So we are here as light workers to hold that light, that light of going within and finding that inner path through the darkest night of the collective soul. And we are going to be human lanterns to help the collective to move through this, okay? And that's what the heart of the world is here to show us because when we do that, we become like the white stag, right? Leading humanity through the forest, okay? We become the Christ, we embody the Christ, each of us as individuals and collectively as light workers, uh, as a, a, a light worker collective, we become that white stag. Okay, we're, you know, the, as best we can, we're none of us per, per, perfect, right? But collectively, we can, you know, as best we can align with that Christ impulse, and then we become that guiding light, okay? Which brings me to a couple of final 
insights that I was given to share with you about, about this time of the solstice and Christmas in 2023. Um, one is that it's going to be super, super important to stay grounded as much as possible, okay, using whatever grounding techniques work for you. Remember, we're receiving so much through the crown chakra. It's really important that we need to also work with the root chakra so that we can stay balanced, so that we can channel these energies down into the earth, okay? And this may be really, really intense. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. The next couple years, especially we're going to be receiving so much light codes that it, it may feel traumatic to our bodies. It may feel emotionally upsetting, all the stuff, right? So just, you know, be aware of it. It's so much easier, right, to sometimes to, to go in if you if you know what to expect, right, and, and just kind of keep your eye on the light um, versus if you have no idea what's coming at you. So, um, you know, it's it's important that we just take a deep breath at this point and realize, okay, this is what I'm here for. Let's go. Right. Um, so grounding, whether it's root chakra work, breath work and meditation, or connecting directly with the earth in some way, super, super important right now. And when you connect with mother earth, what I'm being told very specifically is to suggest to you that when you ground yourself, when we ground ourselves, that we do so by connecting, connecting with the ascended earth with the 5d earth grid the energetic grid of gaia that is already awakened and ascended okay because there's also like the old 3d earth grid that we don't want to connect to in fact we want to cut our ties to that right so imagine if you can imagine like the earth energy as this crystalline beautiful purified light energy that's what we want to connect with not the dark stuff okay or if we can connect with the darkness of earth as um the the beautiful divine feminine darkness that works as well but make sure that it's on that 5d love frequency okay um not the anxiety fear frequency right we want to really really separate ourselves from that as much as we can really connect and open to the light whether it's light from earth or light from above okay so in that way if we're connecting with the 5D grid of Gaia, we're going to be drawing on and building the energy of the new earth that we are here to seed into reality at this time, okay? So we can do this through our bodies, through our imaginations, through our breath, all sorts of beautiful ways. Okay, let's take a moment here and look at the Christmas energy of 2023. So this is the other message that I received when I asked to be shown the energies of Christmas 2023. And this is, regardless of your religion, right? It has to do with the natural solar cycle of time and faith traditions around the world celebrate in some way the return of the light about usually about three days or so past the solstice because that's when the light really starts to appear to um, expand and, and grow again, all right? So here's the message that I received around Christmas 2023. Come forward, step into the light. Now is the time to make decisions. Now is the time to make a choice. This is a day of activation. This is a day from which there is no turning back. Open your heart to glory. Turn to face the sun. On this day, hearts join in celebration. Will you join them? Will you claim victory as a human being? Will you claim your sovereignty? Will you devote yourself to the light? This day is an invitation. This day is a portal to truth. So I'm going to be speaking a lot more about this in my next video, which will be an energy update for the year 2024, and will explain a lot more of the bigger picture of the energy pattern we're working through at this time, uh, plus some more art that explains it all. So if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button, and if you want email reminders, I'm going to put the link to join my email list in the description box below. So here is a quick recap of the information in this video. The December 2023 solstice is an amazing energetic portal for purification and going within. It's a good time for fasting. If you fall sick or catch a cold or flu at this time, don't worry. It's probably just your body feeling the energy and doing its own purification ritual. Okay. This is also an, ener a, an excellent time to work with clearing old or ancestral traumas. 
and also for surrendering to the higher will, right? Devoting yourself to spirit, to God, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, once we hit Christmas or Yule or whatever you want to call it, the energies will facilitate moving from more an inward state of introspection and purification towards supporting making a firm decision and really stepping into your truth. Okay, so we are encouraged at this time to really take a stand and devote ourselves to our highest purpose, right? This is a call to action, a call to arms, if you will, right? As spiritual warriors and as light bearers, right? To claim our sovereignty as enlightened beings and to devote ourselves to serving higher truth and light no matter what. Okay, so in short, this is an incredibly powerful initiation point. It may feel very intense, but if we move through and with these energies in a conscious way, it's really going to prepare us and get us ready to enter into our highest path of service in 2024, 2025, and beyond. Okay, so finally, if you enjoy working with power animals, it's really hard to connect with a more beautiful and powerful one to help us integrate these energies right now than the white stag, right? So this painting I've just completed is full of activations that resonate with the lunar solstice energy and the magic of the white heart or white stag. And I'm going to put him up on my website for sale. This is the original painting here um, and as usual there will be one special person who is meant to have the original painting for a limited time only I'm also going to be offering prints and probably just through the end of the year here so if he is calling to you this is your chance to have him and again that link will be in the description box so check him out if he resonates with you and remember you were born to be free